today I kind of wanted to show you guys my hair routine. So I wash my hair every two to three days and when I do, this is what happens. <laughs> Um, and I know that it's weird that I'm filming this in my bedroom because you do your hair in the bathroom But this was the only room that I could find that had good enough lighting. So Here we are So to start off I will shower obviously I wash my hair most of the time with I have this Joyco duo It's their moisture recovery shampoo and moisture recovery conditioner. I got them at Peerless Beauty Supply. Uh, it's for dry hair. I just noticed that since I bleached my ends out, they get super dry and then they feel awful and like straw. So I use this. Sometimes if I'm feeling like the ends of my hair are getting kind of brassy or I just want them to be uh, with a little bit more of an ashy tone, I will use this Scruples Purple Shampoo. It's called Platinum Shine. It's a toning shampoo. For those of you who don't know what purple shampoo is, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's shampoo that is purple. And this one, I'm trying to squeeze it up to the top without, well, maybe I can't. I'm trying to get some on my finger. It looks like this, and it's used to tone out brassiness in most of the time in blondes. You can use it on gray hair as well. You wash it with regular shampoo, and then you put this purple shampoo, and I usually let it sit while I like wash my body or something, and it just tones out the warm tones. And then if I'm feeling like my hair is particularly damaged um, or fried because of all the heat styling or whatnot, I'll use, now please don't judge, this is super, super dirty because of all of our hard water, but I'll use this. It's the Moroccan Oil Restorative Hair Mask. First of all, it's like the greatest smelling thing ever. I don't even know what it smells like. I can't describe it to you. If, you, if any of you have smelled any of the Moroccan Oil products, it smells like everything else does. And it just is this really, really thick, creamy, like look, that has a lot of protein in it and will help. I mean, obviously you can't, once the your hair has split ends, I mean it has split ends. There's not really any way to reverse it, but this does help restore some protein in those damaged ends and soften them and help them to not be so fried. Your hair is made out of protein, and so when you put protein back into it, it's really, really, good for the hair, it's really nourishing, especially when you've bleached it like I have. So after it's all washed, this happens. So obviously my hair is not brushed. I just got out of the shower and towel dried it and I usually put some type of conditioner or a serum on it before I brush it. Right now I am using this Octavio um, hair serum. It's, it's an argan oil based serum. I got it in my Ipsy so I was like, hmm, why not use it? It's not, I mean, I'm not like super in love with it. It doesn't do anything above and beyond, but I mean, I have it so why not use it? So you just pour like, I do like a nickel size amount. You can do however much you want really. It just, it just depends on how thick and coarse your hair is and how much it absorbs. So I just do from right below my ears down. It just helps keep in moisture, protect against heat styling, and help get rid of frizz. Cause I don't know why, but my hair is so, so, so frizzy, but it's not really very curly. So I'm like, why? Like if you have to be frizzy, why can't you also be curly? Like, and then I just brush through to kind of evenly distribute. I start, you always wanna brush your hair starting at the bottom and working your way up, otherwise you're gonna break your hair and it will hurt more too. You won't be able to get through those tangles as easily. The brush that I'm using is called the wet brush. You can get it, well I get mine at Peerless Beauty Supply, but you can also get it, I've seen them at Target and I've seen them, if you live in Bountiful, I've seen them at classy chassis. Then most of the time when I'm feeling, I don't know, not as lazy, I use a root lifter because my hair gets really, really flat up here at the top and then like I said, really frizzy at the bottom. So it gets really poofy down here and then nothing up here. It's really great. And so right now I'm using the color proof. It's called Lift It Color Protect Foam Mousse. And the, ooh, ooh oil on my hand so I can't open it and the top looks like that it has just like a tiny tiny little spout so that you can get you get like a line of mousse instead of coming out like a dollop like regular hair mousse does anyway so I just do little sections and spray a little line right up near my roots to the other side and then you just take your fingertips and kind of 
rub it all in. And I always notice I can hear it like when you first pour it out, you know, like mousse does. And I know that I'm done rubbing it in when I hear it stop going <laughs> My hair, like I said, has no volume. And so I, when I blow dry it, I blow dry upside down because I wanna get as much volume as I can. Just blow dry it like any other person, just like till it's all dry. This is what my hair looks like after I blow dry it, before I brush it. I look like a lion. So now that it's all blow dried and brushed, by this point, I'm usually like running late <laughs> or just not really feeling like doing my hair all that much. So sometimes I will leave it like this. Sometimes I'll just put it up like today I had it in a side bun for school. But a lot of the time I just quickly curl it all because then my hair holds curl so well. So then when I sleep on it and I wake up the next morning, it's still curly and then I don't have to do it the next day because I'm lazy. <laughs> I just take half my hair, clip it on my head. Do you guys get like little broken pieces of hair when you brush it? I do. Like little tiny ones, like this big, and then they get everywhere. Makes me feel like my hair is super damaged. Oh well. And I do it with my flat iron. For some reason I can curl like 10 million times faster with a flat iron than I can with a curling iron. So usually in the mornings I do curl it with my flat iron. left with all these like ringlety curls I just kind of grab like this on my head and kind of shake them as I slide my fingers down my hair to just kind of ruffle them up and blend them together so I don't look like Shirley Temple and there you go when I do wash my hair this is usually what I'll do that day sometimes I'll lift these pieces and tease right here if it's feeling a little flat today it actually looks pretty good if you like this video please give it a thumbs up um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and have a great day I love you bye oh and don't forget to subscribe